so far, but they yeah, found my wire. The more you talk to you, playing very passively, but some rows are actually hit. I think energy took a little long. Yeah, energy have to go quickly. Kohler does. Nice good for one kill. This is the way. Having their vision. One enemy remaining. Yes, a small advantage, but it just comes down to can they hold this initially? Sam on the way in. He's not able to lock down the first. Gets it eventually, but Hayes is there for the immediate trade. Run it back is coming through for a drone who isn't able to find the player at long, but Hayes already in the site has cleared up a lot of the pressure. Hayes has found four. There's one more member left. It's that. It's a 1v3 for Ten him. He's getting glitched left. from behind. There's not enough time for him to even pick up the spike. And Daps is just trying to make it interesting with kills. He does find one and will back away, try to save his life. But what a hold for TSM. What a hold for Trying to rotate over to C and also backing in is going to be Sabrosa on the way through. Maybe if he's a little bit late to this Ooh. one, but not going to play for the point. Left. This time, energy from the front, finding much more success. Hayes will find Paranoia himself, and with that, EU will clean up the site and we'll have a 4v2. Spike is currently down, but that'll be collected by Kohler, and this should be a plan. Waddell sort of shooting underneath the amp. narrowly missed him. But this is just going to be down to can you maybe sneak this defuse? Hot Hands will deny the initial attempt from Drone. Dark cover should dissipate here soon. Span shots coming through. Paranoia. That's already halfway. No way. That's going to look pretty solid for almost the full defuse. Are you able to stop it? But it's again halfway through. But just as they try to go on one more time, it's just down to Wardell. He'll find one more pick and do the same thing. He'll back away again. They're really giving respect to an opponent that a lot of teams really haven't been. Well, here comes the execute for C with 15 seconds to play. Drone will catch some instance of Kohler on the outside of the dark cover and then spamming through it will confirm the kill. But the spike still planted. Hunter's Fury available, but you could already see that for EU, he's actually not going to be playing through C long. He's going to be playing in the garage window. Going to have a little bit of help here, and this is a different angle. Now trying to go for the retake. Wardell's going to hit the blade storm. Sabrosa coming in. We'll find one. Drone is able to find another, and everything comes down to Sam. Curveball comes through, and this is a 1v3. He'll be zoned out by the hot hands. Wardell finds the easy shot, and the retake will be good for TSM to tie it at four. Paranoia going to be held on to, and interestingly enough, Sabros is going to hold his position. You might catch a player that's wanting to play from garage, get in behind them if they plan for the retake. It is going to be planted for long, though. No. And this fear is actually going to be used early just to try and catch this play, but Sabros in the look gets caught up by Daps. Completely red at this point, and it's a 4v4. And yeah, there's a trade there for a drone, but Sabrosa was everything for this potential retake early, at least for TSM. So now in a 4v4 with no ultimates to break through, you're going to have to either try to find a way to brute force your way in from the front or hope that drone on the backside can find a couple of kills. He's going to try to make this play through C long. Three members will make their way onto site at the moment. Kohler is diligently watching for this angle. Takes care of drone. Now the Hunter's Fury to come through to stop for any sort of attempt for the defuse. Kohler is able to find one more elimination. Shock darts will come through. And not going to be opportunity for Cutler to hold. Let him exist. Let's make this rotation through C Garage. Nice paranoia coming through for Hayes. He gets a oh, lineup oh. of three, but doesn't get the fourth. Some there exciting. for the immediate trade, but is it too costly? 20 seconds and a reset for NRG. I think they fell right into TSM's trap there. A lot of nice pressure from NRG, but TSM sort of read the play. Left. Had a lot of players stacked up in that position. And Hayes, yet again, with another solid paranoia, being able to follow through on the end. The spike is maybe good. I don't think there's enough time. Nah, oh, just oh. not enough. But that's a big round for TSM on this defending half. This retake is going to be a bit of an awkward one, even in a 5v5. Time's sort of ticking away. So Brosa's wanted to try and face as much as possible, but he gets hit by the paranoia and the recon bolt. Kohler gets first blood. Kohler really showing up on these retakes so far. Down to 37 HP, 5v3, and again... This spike in the back corner is very spammable. Wardell finds one. Shock Dart gets another. Hayes able to find himself three in a row. EU cannot hold off even though the spike was put down. And actually, pardon me, it actually does fully get diffused. I didn't hear it come out. And Effie's three different members that are going to be here. Aldrun trying to scout their way through. Good Shock Dart placement, though. And as Daps finds one more lurking through a main, that's going to be a Spectre upgraded to an AR. And even though, yes, you're going to get the spike down, you're trapped on site right now if you're TSM. You really need to hope that Wardell can find 
find a couple of picks, and he does find the first. Blazewell will come through. That will allow rotation for those members that were lurking for Simon to come on in. Nobody expects Cutler to sit as close as he was. There is a one-for-one -one trade, but this is all costing time, and TS in the meantime will be in a 3v1 as Wardell locks down three. Make it four kills. Wardell. But this is going to be much tougher than the pistol round. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. One for one trade though, Kohler trying to come through a lot of information off the recon bolt, Kohler for two. Wardell trying to stay alive, Hunter Siri trying to deny as much time as possible off this defuse. And a couple of lineups for Cutler, but the stick will still be there. B. From the shadows will be spent. Hayes gonna get into the back towards Gong. Sabroza good damage, Hayes confirms and more team shots coming through. Sabroza cleans up Effies. So a 5v2 situation and NRG are going to have to decide what exactly do you want to do here with no ultimates and an economy that is not going to be super healthy yet. Do you just try to play for exits or do you stay more passive just play for the save? Just waiting for the hit. Recon Bolt will come through first. It'll be immediately destroyed. Kohler on the way in. He'll find one. One more in the corner. Tries to play for the weapon. Good help from Sam. And now it's just down to TSM on their post plant trying to hold off the... Kohler is going to find one. Wardell falls. Up Wait, trap. Nickel's over, over the top. He's not going to find Sabrosa, who spams through the dark cover. He'll double up in TSM, able to clutch up the round. This round weight could be very useful, but Sabrosa's given his position. A nice little shoulder peek was enough, but he wins that engagement. Empress is down. It's a four versus two. It's a massive pickup. If the Empress gets reset there, there's an opportunity to pull the flank through, but that's... It's very slow. Glacial almost from NRG who might just consider saving the guns. That's a really nice paranoia to some dash into the smoke spray and hoping he can get a frag onto Hayes. He can, but there's still so many other players on TSM on the side. Oh, but they're able to go away with some nice trades. Last one left. It's down to the Sabrosa for a 1v2, but the spike needs to be defused up top. Daps is going to overwatch it. He's going to find his third kill in NRG. It's unnecessary. You get the first, you get the first blood that might be enough for you to put this map away. Daps though, is gonna have to find a couple of kills as the spike makes its way forward. The spike is gonna be down. Daps has found a third. Neural theft now coming through. Wardell's position will be revealed. Is he gonna find a fourth kill? Tries to do a little bit of red dot chasing, but Cutler punishes 2v3, but Kohler's on the back. He's gonna find the first. Everything comes down to Wardell. Not gonna find it. NRG strike first, 13 to nine on Haven. All that successfully, but this is taking a lot of time. It what point are you going to hit the go call? Maybe that will do it. Assam is able to find one. Drone gets the trade. Paranoia going to come through and energy now onto the site. They usually explode with getting all of these kills in tandem, but you can see the Phoenix's position on the side of TSM is very deep. They're not maybe expecting him, but the Hot Hands is going to give away that position. Daps is 6 HP. is going to try and face him. Right click him in the face. He can do that at least, but it's a 1 versus 1. 2 HP hazed. He's done enough. There's no time for the defuse to come in. It's going to be contested by NRG on this side, at least. They're actually going to try and take it off of him. Yeah, aggressive look at B Tower here as well for the opposite side. But TSM will be stalled for a moment. And as Effies finds first blood of the Sabrosa over through B main, there will be no threat of the showstopper, at least in this round. TSM still stacking. There's a spy cam nearby that Daps is known to use. And he's just going to read all three of these members, not even going for a tag. Pitts trying to potentially get here. Daps, good help with the fault line. We'll find the first kill and be able to stay alive. Effie's one more. And now all of a sudden, TSM completely trapped and isolated. And Cutler dropping the spike won't make things any easier for Hayes. So all of a sudden, TSM are going to have to find a different way to enter onto the site. Effie's is holding his right, but does he recognize that there are a number of members here to the left? Only finds one. Should have had a lineup, I think, in his mind and many others. And with Wardell able to find the shot with the operator, now all of a sudden it's a 3v2 and TSM should get this spike down without much contest. You do have Sam who's left. trying to contest. This comes out of the cloud burst. He finds two and a beautiful flashpoint forward for EU making use of the breach again. I love the way that you just said without much context that then Sam's like, I'm just going to get a triple kill. <laughs> TSM at this point. Daps another cheeky Eight. camera position. Is going to read the information that here comes the hit towards A. Daps up top is good for one. Some another. Cutler able to find at least one trade, but that'll be likely about it. Hayes does make things interesting with a couple of kills. He's going to hit the shroud and step, pick up the spike, and not going to have enough time to commit. He would have had if he just held on to it, but instead, 
Maybe second guess himself a touch. Can he force one more repurchase? No. At Kohler's the one who's close, and Sabrosa falls. It's going to be a run it back simultaneously with the Rolling Thunder. And Kohler, recognizing there's a lot of pressure, will pull the showstop route. And those are two key ultimates for TSM that are not going to find initial value off the ultimates themselves. But here still comes the hit. If he's on the site, only good for one. But really, technically, he's good for three as he finds himself three total in the round. We've got ourselves a 2v2. Plant trying to come out. You've got EU up top. He's good for one. He's good for two. And NRG clean on the retake. Back after a flashpoint comes through right down the middle. Sam, good for one. Tailwind away. Stays alive. That's how key is this. Oh, my goodness. One more up front. Close to personal. Close to the classic. But flash beyond belief. Cutler for two. That'll open up space onto the A site. But trades are decent for NRG. They'll have a numbers advantage to 3v2 for the retake. And TSM don't really have much ground to hold on to in this two versus three. You can see them wrap around the paranoia misses though, but that gives away the position of where Effie's is playing from. So they are going to be pushed onto site. Nice pick from Cutler. He can't win that, but it's a two versus one. Drone having the operator. It's going to be able to break it down. He knows that Effie's was coming from A main. Does he expect him on the site? Does he expect him on the spike? He does now because the defuse was tricked. But with the operator now sat in the smoke, he needs to have reactive aim. Is he going to be expecting oh! none? Just misses out. Effie's plays that smartly. And he is going to have enough time for the, the defuse Wait, to come through. Did he get legged off the no scope? There's no way. Push it, but he needs to be careful that somebody doesn't come through ropes. In fact, he spot he must have seen him there. He doesn't react at all, but that's a nice little flick to get thrown. Can full purchase again. They've got a rolling thunder to potentially play with. Effie's just guessing through the dark cover is good for one. He'll find himself a double. Last one left. Cutler underneath the Raptors. He found one kill, but that'll be all he walks away with. And all of a sudden, NRG. All he has to do is wait to hear when the retake engagement comes through, and then he can make his presence felt. Oh, Kohler, big play as he gets up top, but will be denied as Sabrosa finds the immediate trade. Still a good post plant position through a long year for Sabrosa. But how about this? There's going to be a check here on the drone through red, through ropes, rather, and Daps does find the kill. So now the Rolling Thunder comes through. A push for Sam with the frenzy. He finds one. You're going to get trades coming through as the Spectre's good for another, and Sabrosa can't find a single pick. Potentially committed. Has drone curveball forward. He's gonna deal with the operator of Sock. Effie's also flashed up. Not gonna find the kill. He used good for one, but Cutler, he'll stay alive. It was Effie's who was trying to find that angle. Couldn't quite confirm the kill. And he's in a 1v3 with a lot of time already ticking away. So Rosa will punish. Eight seconds to play. The clock might be one of the biggest opponents here for NRG. Here comes the commitment. So Rosa's already getting out of sight. The Wardell's good for one. Down to 15 seconds. Still more shots down low. So Rosa finds another. Down to 10 seconds. seconds Still left. player in the back, but Sam is good for all three. The spike will be planted, but Effie's falls in the hot hands, and Sam is going to have to find the full ace to secure the round here for NRG. Some really nice utility coming out there. The fault line and the hot hands confirming that kill. Something's going to get flashed around this corner. He peeks away just in time, but Drone Smoke it. is expecting a push. He gets fully flashed, though. The paranoia hasn't come out just yet. He gets taken down. That's a big kill to open it up for NRG, but Sub Rosa can at least trade him out before some trades him out. So it's a four versus three, full retake for TSM. And guns still in their favor, but ooh, it's awkward now. Round two blade storm for NRG. And Sam's kill potential might just be enough. These are weapons that have been picked up. Curveball comes through. AU only good for a little bit of damage. Sam finding a kill. The right click gonna miss. Now to the classic. He goes up top. Wardell a little bit shaky with his shots. Kohler will eventually middle to A tower. Can they find the kills though? Sam, a lot of damage confirmed. Comes with a jump peak. Wardell for two. Now it's just down to EU, and he really can't challenge this by himself. He'll give it a go, but Wardell will find four kills, and TSM spent just to grab an ultimate orb. So you at home can decide if it's worth the value. So Rosa oh, no. with the boom bot out, but Hayes is there for at least a trade, and the boom bot will actually stop the rest of the hit, mostly from coming through quickly. Hayes is good for a second. EU trying to find a multiple, but Hayes is good for three. So in 2v2, Effies will be allowed to get the spike planted, but there will be the attempt for a retake as you've got high ground control and the ability to push through bottom dirt. That's a lot of information that Daps was able to get at least. Wardell can't afford to take the tag out. He actually gets taken out, and Daps can at least see where Drone is. He has to peek aggressively here. He's going to take that fight. Nice peek onto Daps. Oh, really clutch play from Drone there. As expected, he's going to be peeking aggressively on A. Doesn't quite get the frags, but Drone does from A ramp. Things are starting to look better for TSM on this defense. 
I want to say he hits a leg there. Someone was jumping through and the health was instantly put down to yellow. But like you mentioned, drone up top, peaks simultaneously. They walk away with all three kills. And now Hayes, there's the spike down. Looking to try to make this a flawless, but Effies will make sure that doesn't occur. He actually finds a second kill. Need to try and stop this play from coming through. It's slowed down quite a lot. Some doesn't know drone's there. Oh, and he's going to find the pick plus another. How clutch has drone been? Dude. He's looking in the wrong direction, actually. He could get caught out by the defending race at this point if he's not careful. He does. So Broza spots that lurk. And you could tell that they were trying to make their way through to A, considering where Effie's is at this point. He does manage to get one, but he still has to clear the rest of this TSM defending side. He hears a lot of footsteps, and he does have the spike to play with. TSM are trying to chase him down, knowing he's just on to a bullet left. worth of HP. Effie's desperately trying to get this spike planted for a bit of extra cash, but it's not going to be allowed to as here comes the hit. Effie's isn't good for another kill as Wardell puts him down. The Shadows is going to be spent. Hayes is going to commit to this. There's one player nearby. It was EU, but isn't able to find the kill. That would have been a big pickup for NRG and the hope of Nico, but as they lose some of their biggest kill potential of Som, it's going to be a 4v2. Sabroza really wanted to make this 11th round come through. Cleanly spends the showstopper. Wardell's good for the kill. Daps last player left alive. I don't know what happened to his Phantom, but he was running with the Sheriff instead. And it will be three members for TSM to survive as they get put onto a weapon. Rolling Thunder Paranoia, that's all spent over to the top side of B Tower. Nothing to break off from Wardell to position. He traps over the Showstopper. Cutler's good for one, but NRG on the way through. They're still alive left. for this attack as EU comes away with a double and Effies will plant the spike. spike it's gonna be tough now. Effie's shrouded step right into the corner. Hayes still has the paranoia. Drone still has both of his flashes. This is a lot of key utility for TSM to make use out of. They're going to execute together. That's a really nice aftershock that's going to create a bit of space. But now it's a one versus two. Hayes gets caught in a crossfire. But if they can find a way to take down Drone, this is still an execute that could come through cleanly. Flashpoint comes out and Sam's able to find the trade back. So now 4v4 defensively, TSM on the rotation. The only one left alive is going to be Cutler on the site. But he's done this before. This time, though, he only comes away with one. Wardell with the Blindstorm is going to find nothing as EU finds a second, a 3v2, and NRG can set up their post plant. It's used in a position where there is nobody from NRG stood. They're going to be fighting all on this site. And is there any more utility for TSM to work their way in? Blast Pack comes through, does find a little bit of chip damage, but Effie's good for one kill. Hayes, all down to him. He finds two, knows the last player is sitting by the board, but Daps clutches up in NRG. Cyber Cage will come down. This peak could be everything, and Drone finds the kill. 5v3 for TSM, trying to send things to overtime, and NRG are trio stacked up top of B Tower. Yeah, they've read this so well. NRG might be expected in a pretty open side, but there's a lot of crossfires in. That's a really nice flash, though. So Rosa taken out. Paranoia hits Som, who's going to continue pushing, using all of his smokes to try and make some space. Haste is at least good for one of the EU. The running back is going to be used on the defended side. Effies is the last alive. He's going to try and teleport out, but he gets caught. We're going to overtime. It in the next game later today. Flashback coming through. Sob not good for the shot. Has to try to back away, but Sabros is good for a double. TSM on the A site, but are deciding what they want to do with the plant. They still haven't gotten the spike down yet. So with that, there will be the opportunity for NRG to be here defensively with a little bit of extra time to play with. But Wardell, he's got an operator. You've got Sabrosa holding a different corner with the second one that they picked up off the ground. And I just don't know how you do this if you're NRG. That first kill is a good one, though, for Daps. But Effie's and Daps trying to work this together still have to get through the operator of Wardell. It's next round on the defense. Nice shot from Wardell just before the cloud burst fully gets developed. Som, though, for one. Wardell's able to find a second. That will stall things again for NRG. Wardell for three. One more below him. There's going to be a trade for EU, but this will be a 1v4 situation for him. He does have the spike to play with. Has the idea on where Drone is. There's another elimination. Has Hayes up top, but Hayes punches things up. 14, 12, and OT. We're going to a set for map number three. That was so dangerous because there's this massive gap now where all of NRG are funneling through onto tree. You've got Sabrosa, though, that's been completely uncontested. He's good for two. Tries to get the headshot onto Effies, but he is the last alive. I was so worried for TSM with how open that they were going to be to be exploited. To dissipate, 
The spike seconds could be planted left. in Som. I don't know if he recognizes this, but all three members are in front of him. Gets a read on the second. He will find the headshot before Drone finds the kill. Good flash coming through. Drone for his third, looking for the 1v1. Down to 37 HP. Now down to 11. And the running back is not going to be spent to do too much besides give an extra life. There's going to be the first kill. No chance for him to recoup after the teleport back. And Daps will add a little bit of extra sauce at the end as he wins the 1v1 and gets the defuse. On the lurk, long flank, two members nearby. Holding the angle. He's going to be good for the first. Does he expect the second? Sort of, but Drone's able to put him down. Now the showstopper up top, TSM. Want to clean up this round now. Blast pack through the corner. Kohler's going to peek. Remains. That'll be the end of him. Hayes will find the kill before the showstopper could reach. Som, shoulder check. Right click. Not even going to come through. He was trusting the individual knives. Well, it does open up the opportunity for energy to push forward, knowing that TSM had to respond to this player on the potential flank. Their cover set. Recon bolt not finding much. EU right above. As he drops, he's going to find one. EU looking for more now. Dark cover through. There's the shock dart. EU going to find one more. It's down to a 1v1. He clutches it up, but there's not enough time for the defuse. He hit right onto his location. Hunter's Fury is going to come out. Here comes the challenge. And Kohler's only good for one initially. Cutler, though, with the Hunter's Fury, has cleared up some space for this hit to come through. Som trying to stay alive. Down to 55 HP. Effies! What a transfer! He finds himself, too. Looking for a third at range, but Wardell is able to make things now down to a 1v2. Gets a read on one player through the tree. Predicts you correctly, but doesn't hold the angle long enough. Thinks it can be punished. So here they go. Aggressive. Blast pack. Oh, no. Did not really allow Kohler a chance for the kill, so Kohler will clean things up. Not a lot of trigger discipline. So case there. So now Sam. How many is he good for? There's the first. Number two through. Third one in the corner, but it's a double peek that comes out, and Hayes will be able to find the punish. So 3v3, a couple weapons should be picked up, and Wardell will find one more pick on the Effies, who was looking for an aggressive challenge. And now Energy trying to break this up with a 2v3. Nice shots for Daft, but doesn't confirm the kill. The spam mm. shots, though, are good. EU also committed to Hunter's Fury. Will be challenged from the side. Hayes with the pick. Daft through the wall again. Now to a 1v1. And I think he's got a beat on where exactly Sabros is playing. Knows he's in the archway, but time is becoming a consideration. Who's got the better reaction? It's going to be Sabrosa, a thrifty round for TSM up 5 2. Joke's over. You're dead. back is going to be used. Paranoia is a nice counter to it. It finds very little over that the omen's on site. He could teleport out, though, but it's Daps and Caller that gets so many frags. Free versus free now. It's a bloodbath, but it's slowed down now to a nice 2v2. And the Empress from Kohler doesn't find too much. Effies can't find his counterpart of Hayes, so now it's just down to EU. One member down to critical HP. That's Hayes, who's down to about a bullet. Oh, Shock no. Dart uh, did not get the bounce that he was hoping for. Recon Bolt will find a bit of information. He is able to confirm some damage, but not a kill. So will he actually know that both players are not just positioned in lower hell, but are also down to a couple of bullets? EU making the play. Gets on the site. Spam shots are there. Hayes with his third kill cleans things up. In from so many individuals on TSM in the last two maps have allowed them to not just take back this series, but potentially take over. Effie's able to find first blood defensively. Showstopper not finding a lot. Run it back for a drone as he pushes through over to tree. He will find one. And with good help from Sabros, they will come on top of the trains with the spike being planted. It's another free versus free. Waddell is going to try and press on the site, but that door's broken again. NRG have found a nice little Achilles heel that they could just tickle a little bit to make it really awkward now for TSM to hold on. They have full A main control. It's going to be smoked off. They can sort of uproot Wardell from underneath hell. They've got a great opening of getting this fight defused. Wardell able to find one kill as he will again press forward. Som, good for the first, but he needs to find two more. And what would he do? 1v3, good timing off the hot hands. That'll push Som off and give a little bit of extra time, and Som is going to recognize he's not going to have time for this. And now as Hayes pushes this forward, he'll find first blood and TSM will wrap this bomb back over to B. Yeah, FB's wanted to at least try and trade, but he's 2 HP. He does have a smoke still, another one coming online too, but did he expect this aggressive push from Hayes? He's gone all the way to the defender's spawn. All of this map control now into TSM. It's just going to be somewhere the operator. 10 to half. Not even fully being utilized. Boombot, curveball, paint shells. All of it being used, but the paranoia will again stop anything from coming out. 
Classic won't be good for too much bullet penetration, but Drone still finds first blood. Cutler another. The retake looking a bit better here. Cutler for three. That was just down to Wardell. Frenzy with two bullets. Not going to be enough. Time becoming a problem. Recon bolt comes through. The reload gets off, but EU punishes, and NRG will take the pistol. So as they start to build this information, NRG are going to recognize that this threat will 100% be from the front. Wardell, he's good for the first kill. Now there's potential for numbers. Kohler, low HP. He gets caught out. Look but at that. But that also falls. Daps trying to play for the flight. Has to go massive. There's the first. He gets good help from EU for the second. It changes the weapons out, but Hayes is there for the easy kill. And TSM will retake, and it won't even be all that costly as they find themselves up 11 to 4. The layer comes through. He is going to spot heads. The hop in stops, and the recon bolt comes through. Kohler gets a nice early frag. It's a 4 versus 4. But the Phoenix Flash comes through. Drone is under a lot of pressure. Excuse me. And this is going to be tricky as he goes down. So do I in yeah. this case. This up. Best case scenario, you get some and the rest of NRG that are trying to get off the site. Wardell's got the right idea. One Getting these exit frags is going to be big. Oh, Who no. would imagine FE dies in that scenario? And it looks like that will occur. Sam looking to get aggressive. Updraft immediately on the site. But not taking care of Jerome means that... He's gonna actually split this up into two. Now it's also pushed through for Hayes. He takes care of EU as he couldn't put the Hunter's Fury down in time. Run it back coming out. TSM not interested in giving NRG any opportunity at all. And with that, it will be the final kill from Cutler off the Hunter's Fury. A flawless round defensively. Drone knows that they're coming. This is it. Good help from Warden. A lot of trust there. Drone with the secondary peak will line up the other two. Double kill for him. Spike on the site. Last hope for NRG to stay in the winner's side of Group B. Comes down to EU to extend the map. Might get an opportunity here for left. the first. That one's free on the Cutler. But the rest, I'm sure, will not be nearly as easy. How are TSM going to play this, though? Drone is actually going to push up. If he gets caught out here, that's a big loss. He does. Uh, oh, this has got interesting. EU has a recon bolt coming online in a second. Where's he going to throw it? <laughs> ah, he's gonna try to bounce it up, but gets caught. Hayes finds the kill. GG's in the chat, and NRG were a round away.